Hi guys and welcome to another video where today we're going to be reacting to our English Championship Final League Table. Now we predicted the final standings of the Championship League Table back in August last year. Um, it is very difficult yeah. to do so you know we did get a few things wrong, we did get a few things right of course. However looking in the comments section back last year, uh, Rob Wheeler for instance, did you draw these predictions out of a hat? It seems like some of them did, yes, but others, <laughs> well, we did okay on. And another person in the comments section, namely Dylan007, said, You two know nothing about football. Well, the thing is, if we didn't know anything about football, then we wouldn't have had a few perfect results and a few that were really close, so... Also, football, is that something you do when you go shopping down the <laughs> sort of a, an aisle of a supermarket with a fishing rod? <laughs> dear, oh dear, come on. We may be not great at predicting, but we're not too bad either. Anyway, let's crack on. This is how it's going to work anyway with the predictions. Um, for an exact position in the league table, we'll get five points. Um, where a team has finished one point above or below their actual finishing points, they'll get fr we'll get three points. And for a team that finishes two positions higher or lower than they actually finished, we'll get just the one point. We'll go through both yours and mine, and at the end we'll see who gained the most points. So let's crack on. Okay, so we'll start with the bottom three who got relegated to League One this year. They were Sunderland finishing bottom, Burton 23rd, 22nd Barnsley on the last day of the season as well. Now, I predicted Bolton, who narrowly survived, who finished in the end 20, in 21st position. Um, I was free out then, and for some reason, I put Bristol City in 23rd. I don't know what I was thinking there. Yeah, they, they actually did quite well this season yeah, I, as well. <laughs> nobody thought they would do as well as they did, but... I think in the 2016-17 yeah. season, they did struggle, however. They, 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 they sort of galvanised really themselves last, last season, though. Really, really strong. And then in 22nd, I actually predicted QPR, mainly because of their uh, poor run of form in the last few seasons, but they ended up finishing 16th. So for those bottom three, I, yeah, I finished with naught points. <laughs> okay, um, maybe we do know nothing about football. Yeah, <laughs> okay, for me then, finishing bottom, I predicted Bolton. Actually, three positions away from that, they actually finished 21st in the end. Uh, next up, I had Burton, who finished actually in 23rd position, so I get five points for that. So pleased with that, even though Burton were at times a tough mm -hmm. That's a crack. And uh, Millwall in 22nd position. Millwall, of course, they finished in 8th position, which was 14 positions above from my predictions. So I have zero points for that. But well done to Millwall. Great team yeah, spirit good. there. The way they play, not too dissimilar to Cardiff. So overall, there from the bottom three positions, I'm on five points. Okay, so next we'll go from 21st to 17th. And they were Bolton, Reading. Birmingham City, Hull and Nottingham Forest. Um, 21st I predicted Burton, narrowly to survive, mainly because of their se semi-good season uh, last year. But unfortunately they did get go down they did go down this season and they finished 23rd. So for that I get a point. In 20th I said Millwall. Now I said that they were gonna at least survive mainly because of their mainly because of their squad. I thought it was championship capable capable. Um, unfortunately, I predicted them to finish 20th, that was 12 out, one of my worst uh, worst mistakes on there. Um, next up, I had Nottingham Forest to finish 19th, mainly because of their, well, um, poor, poor form the last few seasons. Well, and they actually finished 17th, so it was 2 out, so I did get a point for that as well. Um, next up, I thought Sheffield United were going to finish 18th, well... They did much better than that this season, and managed to end up finishing 10th, which was a very good first season back in the Championship for them. But, as you know, Hull finished in 18th, so I was out by eight, I was out by eight positions. And then I said Birmingham City were going to finish 17th, and have a really bad season, which I actually predicted correctly, to be honest. Um, and so for that, I was actually two positions out, they finished 19th. Uh, came on, came down to the last day on whether they got, they got relegated. But they, yeah, it was, they a, it was a big day that last day of the season. They they, they yeah. beat Fulham, of course, on that that final day of the Thank season. Thank you, Birmingham. <laughs> but yeah, 
I get a point for that as well. Okay, looking at my well. next five matches, I have QPR there in 21st position. They actually ended up in 16th position overall. Bolton, of course, came 21st, so I don't get any points for that one. And similarly, Bristol City, not sure what I was thinking there. They did turn things around in the course of the season. Started off really well. I know they faded towards the end of the season, finish up, finishing up in 11th position at the end. Um, next up, Nottingham Forest. Again, they finished in 17th position overall. I predicted that they finish in 19th position, so not too bad there. I do get a point for that. And in 18th position, I had Ipswich. Now, Ipswich, sort of a um, you know, mid-table team anyway. They did finish in 12th. I, you know, I was six places out on that Ipswich uh, prediction as well. And finally, Barnsley. Um, Barnsley actually got relegated. I thought they'd finish... Um, a little bit higher than they did. They've gone down to Division 1 now, um, so no points for that as well. Okay, next up we are going to go from 16th to 12th, and they were QPR in 16th, uh, Sheffield Wednesday 15th, Norwich 14th, Leeds United uh, 13th, and 12th Ipswich, of course. Believe it or not, I actually thought Ipswich were going to finish 16th, but unfortunately they finished 12th. Um... I, I knew it was going to be a bad season for them, especially with Mick McCarthy leaving before his contract ran out at the end of the season. Um, I was four out with that one. Oh well, this is this is really the part of the table where we got it really wrong. So, okay, so next up I had Preston to finish fifteenth. They actually finished seventh. I was way out with that one as well. I didn't think they would do as well as they did, but well done, Preston. That was a good season for you, almost reaching the playoffs. Um. Then I had Barnsley to finish 14th. I, uh, they did sell a lot of their players at the end of last season after they had that really good, really good season last year. But unfortunately, it wasn't, it wasn't to be for Barnsley and they ended up getting relegated on the last day of the season after Reading picking up the points and Birmingham winning. So, unlucky Barnsley. Hopefully you will be back in two seasons' time. Okay, so next up I had Reading to finish 13th. Now, in my predictions back in August, I said that Reading weren't going to do as well as they did last season getting into the playoff final, um, mainly because every other season they seem to do well, and then, ev and then ev in between those seasons they don't seem to do as well. But looking at the comment section, Joe Evening said, Sorry, what? No decent signings. What about Luco Fulham for £7.5 million and no one to, re to replace Al Hapsi? Monroe has made, played most of his career in the play in the Prem, 13th. All I can say is, my prediction was correct and you did absolutely terrible this season after you only narrowly survived on the last day. So, yeah, you didn't have decent signings at all and, they, well, if you did make decent signings, they were a bit of a flop, so... Yeah, Aluko, surprising that because he yeah. is a good player but didn't really... <laughs> Pull anything out of the uh, the bag there. Next up, I had possibly the biggest mistake that I made as well. I predicted Sunderland to finish 12th. And they finished rock bottom after having a disastrous season. Now, I thought Sunderland weren't going to do well in the championship, mainly because of their signers they've made, and they signed uh, Simon Grayson as well. And they got some good young disaster. players. Sunderland they have good well. young players, but not, not championship quality just as yet. Mm, yeah. But... I thought they finished 12th. I didn't think they were ready at all for automatics or the or the playoffs, but I did not expect them to get double relegated yet finishing bottom for the second season in a row. So, I was 12 out on that one. Complete shock. So, between between 16th and 12th, I had at not zero points. We don't know anything about football. <laughs> okay, next up for myself at 16th position, I had Preston. Now that Preston actually finished in seventh position, so I was at nine positions out there, so I get zero for that. Yeah, Preston again, yeah. solid championship team, well established now in this championship. Can they go, uh, you know, one step further next year, push into the playoffs? Maybe they can. Depends on they maybe need to get a little more quality yeah. in that team, and then they can probably push on. But of course, teams coming down are going to have money, the likes of Swansea, West Brom, etc. To so it's going to be difficult for them again next season to get into those playoffs. Next up, I had Hull finishing in 15th position. Hull, of course, finished in 18th, which I had them, which was three below my prediction. So I get a zero for that as well. 
Next up, I had Sheffield United in 14th position. I knew Sheffield United would, because they blew the first division away in the 2016-17 season, I thought they would do well, but they actually exceeded expectations. We're in, they were top of the table, I think, at one stage as well, in around the automatic promotion places, then dropped down to playoffs, and then they slipped out of the playoff positions altogether, and they finished up in 10th. I had them finishing up in 14th, which gives me zero points anyway. I was four positions off that prediction in the end. Next up, in 13th position, I had Birmingham. I sounded American then. <laughs> Birmingham City, of course. Birmingham City. Disaster of a season. Went to the final weekend of the season. Gary Monk, he did kind of turn them around a bit, really saved them. So, Monk hasn't really done anything in his career as such, you know, Swansea, they got rid of him or he walked away, I think he was sacked there, Leeds United, Middlesbrough, he thought, they thought he was going to be the saviour yeah. to push them up to, into the Premier League, that didn't happen, and then of course Birmingham picked them up when they were near the bottom of the table, okay, he did kind of turn them around, they did avoid a relegation and that really, he did, he did his job there, whether they can push on next year, I don't know. And, <laughs> And like you, I had Sunderland finishing in 12th position, which was an absolute disaster for the Black Cats, because they're now in Division 1. <laughs> so, Coleman took over there, Chris Coleman, after doing wonders with Wales. Couldn't do anything at Sunderland. Unfortunately, he, he's lost his job there as well. Um, where can Sunderland go from here? Well, they have been taken over. They so. have. Can they turn it around in Division 1? I doubt it. I think they're just going to have to start again. You know, forget about Premier League for the next five years or so. I'd say Premier League for the next 10, 10 years. Yeah, if they can get themselves back into the Championship next year or the year after, then, you know, establish themselves back again and then push up to the Premier League. But uh, disaster for Sunderland. So, like yourself, from positions 12 down to 16, I had zero points as well. Okay, so next up we are going to go from 11th to 7th, and they were 11th Bristol City, 10th Sheffield United, 9th Brentford, 8th Millwall, and 7th Preston. Now, in 11th position, I had... I had Wolves. And i got to say, I did not expect the dominance that they were going to deliver this season. Okay, so next up I had Derby to finish in 7th position. They finished in 6th. Um, I thought they would narrowly miss out on the playoffs just just by a, a fraction of a fraction, but they ended up finishing in 6th. Uh, and unfortunately they did lose in the playoff semi-final. But good strong season for Derby and I think Gary Rowe is a great manager. Gone to Stoke now, of course. Gone to Stoke, yeah. Gone to Stoke now, of course. Everyone's saying that was a bit of a snake move, but... Don't know really. Is he going to a bigger club? Don't know. I don't think so. Mm. No. Well, the support at Derby has, you know, has been very good in yeah. the in the championship. The amount of fans who do turn up at the stadium every week, of course, or every other week. In eleventh position, I went for Wolves, as we've discussed already. Yeah, terrible. Hands, hold up my hands like yourself. Got it totally wrong. Won't go into ways and why, as we've already done that. Although, yeah, totally. I thought they were going to do okay, but yeah. and the players that they did bring in were fantastic and uh, fair play to Wolves. They got promoted in the end. Um, in 10th position, I went for Brentford, and I was just one position out for this. I had them finishing in 10th, and of course Brentford finished in 9th, so I get the three points there. Uh, Brentford, yeah, good young team, good passing, play exciting football. They just need that little bit of experience and steel if they're going to push into those playoff positions next year. But uh, exciting times ahead for Brentford, I think, in the next year or two. Next up, I had Leeds um, in ninth position. However, Leeds, of course, finished in 13th. And looking at the comments section, we had Alex Wilson saying, I'm sorry, Cardiff above Norwich and Leeds? <laughs> so biased. Well, we're not being biased on this, on this video or any other video. It's just the way we see it. And, of course, we were proved right on this one. Cardiff finished a lot higher than Norwich and Leeds. Leeds, 
back in 13th, I'm afraid there, Alex. And again, somebody else in the comments section called Meme Stealer or Meme Stealer. Meme Stealer. It's a meme cool. Stealer. <laughs> he said, first position for Leeds United. Oh dear. So getting back to the predictions, yeah, as we said, ninth position for Leeds. I was out with that when they actually finished in 13th. Uh, four positions out for that. Looking at 8th position, I went for Derby. Derby, of course, finished 6th overall, so I was two positions out for that, so I just get the one point. And in 7th position, I felt Aston Villa would finish outside the playoffs in 7th position. However, they did yeah. finish in 4th, of course. Okay, so next up we have Derby, Middlesbrough, Aston Villa and Fulham, who finished in the playoffs, 6th, um, 5th, 4th and 3rd respectively. Derby and Middlesbrough getting knocked out immediately by both Fulham and Aston Villa and congratulations to Fulham for winning the playoffs. So in sixth position, I had Cardiff, my team, or our team. I thought they were going to get into the playoffs, but I did not expect the impact that they were going to deliver this season. Of course, yeah, it was yeah. all down to Neil Warnock really galvanising a set of players really who are championship quality, yeah. well mm -hmm. you could say championship, they have got sprinkler physical experience, it's just the way they play yeah. but it, it, brilliant, finishing awesome. second. Second position, four out on that one, no points. Okay so next up I, I uh, predicted Aston Villa to finish fifth but they actually finished in fourth, I knew Aston Villa were going to get into the playoffs, mainly some, mainly because of some of the good uh, signings such as John Terry with that Premier League experience and the experience of being a captain as well. Um, one position away from that, so I get three points. Um, that was, I'd say that was pretty unlucky by me. Uh, then I had Leeds to finish in fourth position. I thought that they would be strong this season under Gary Monk. I thought he would push them to get into the playoffs. That did not happen at all. They ended up finishing 13th, along with Gary Monk getting sacked. So nine, nine places out with that one. Then I had Sheffield Wednesday for some reason to finish in third. Carlos, great season the year before. Unfortunately, did terrible this year. I thought they were going to do even better and finish in the playoffs once again. Did not happen at all. They ended up finishing in 15th. Just couldn't get, go, couldn't get go, going for them, really. So, and of course, Fulham finishing in third in the end. Okay, so looking at my predictions for those teams between 6th and 3rd, I predicted Cardiff, like yourself, to finish in 6th position. Cardiff, against all expectations, most people, I think, felt that they'd finish around about mid-table, but I, I knew with Warnock at the helm and his experience, and the players that Cardiff have got there, really suited to championship football, I thought they would, you know, get into the, the playoffs at least. However, finishing 2nd, they did, absolute brilliant. I got 0 points for that because I was... Four positions out. Looking next, I had Norwich finishing in fifth position. Norwich, of course, they finished down in 14th, so I was nine positions out on that one. So zero points for that one. I thought with the way they played previous years, they did, I think they started with Cameron Jerome at top, or he was in their squad. They did sell him on to Derby in the end, and he did actually do well for Derby at the end of the season. Um, they would have done better, but um, Norwich can... That's a poor season, really, by, by Norwich. Okay, next up we got Fulham. I had them finishing fourth. They did, however, finish third in the end. So I'll just get the three points for that one. And in third position, I had Reading. Mainly, that was down to, I thought, the way Jack Sam was set up his team for the season. He did get the chop as well. I'm not sure, was it halfway through the season? Yeah, through. Reading had a disaster of, of a season, finishing in 20th position. I was 17 places out for that one, so not only a disaster for Reading, but a disaster on my prediction on that, that one. That was the uh, worst of the worst out of any of the results. That was well. terrible. I'm not sure what happened at Reading. Where, where, where do they go from here for next season? Yeah. Consolidation, maybe pushing it to playoffs. We don't know. And finally, we'll finish this video with the top two teams. Um, our team, Cardiff, finishing in second, of course, and then uh, Nuno Santos' Wolves finishing in first position, of course. Now, I predicted Fulham to finish second, but unfortunately, they ended up finishing the playoffs, but I was, I'm was i kind of happy with that, because 
It was just, Card- it was just yeah. one position out. It was just one position out, and Cardiff went went up anyway. So I'd say that was a win win for me. Uh, but I, and I do get three points as well, so that's another win for me again. And then in in first, I had Middlesbrough. Oh, that that was an utter disaster as well. Four places out, they ended up finishing fifth in the playoffs. Reason I put them first is because of the many, many great signings that they had made, especially with Premier League and Championship experience, yeah. such as Britta Sombolonga, and they had a good manager as within Gary Monk at the helm as well, but it just fell to pieces. You, you would think at the beginning of the season, Middlesbrough, with their signings, over the signings of Wolves, of course, Wolves yeah. bringing a lot of talent in from the continent, whereas Middlesbrough, the players that they did bring in, did have a lot of championship experience, and I think that's why both of us did go for that first position in the end. Um, however, they did finish in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Uh, started off terribly, but as you'd expect from a team with lots of new players, mm-hmm. takes time, and then finally they, they they pick up towards the end of the season. So yeah, I was four four places out of that, and I ended up with zero points from from Middlesbrough. <laughs> okay, so my final positions for the championship table. I had Sheffield Wednesday finishing in second position. I think it's mainly for the players that they had. A good manager, well, we thought a good manager at the helm in Calver, Calver Hall, or however you Calver pronounce Hall. his name, Calver Hall. They were 13, I was 13 positions out on that one. Started the season disastrously, continued that sort of blowing hot and cold, but they did pick up at the end of the season playing some good football as well, what we're akin to. So you never know for next season, Sheffield Wednesday fans. And in first position, I, like yourself, as we discussed, I went for Middlesbrough as well, mainly due to the amount of money that was pumped into that team, the, the signings they did have. I know we have gone about a Samba Longa. He did look good when he was there on the pitch. Didn't score the goals, really, to push them up. And Nottingham Forest fans could probably tell you, injury prone. And I get zero points for... Sheffield Wednesday and for Middlesbrough. So rounding up, totaling up the points for those positions, Nathan, you came up with 17 points, well done, and I came up with 13 points, which was four points behind you. But overall, an enjoyable experience. So thank you very much to everybody who commented on this video. I think in the end we had 132 comments on that prediction video back in August. Um, Really enjoyed it, really enjoyed the championship season this year, especially with Cardiff going up, of course. Very exciting. Not sure how things are going to pan out in the Premier League. Sometimes I know a lot of clubs up there, they don't enjoy the experience. They don't get the cut and thrust of the Championship, but we'll see what happens anyway. Uh, yeah, I, I thought it was a good season as well. Nice to go on some away days, but we'll be going to some even more next season. Stay tuned on both of our channels for that. Link in the description below for um, my channels. Um, and I will be continuing to upload after the 8th of June. Many, many videos. <laughs> Yeah, thanks again again guys, thanks for watching, remember to leave a like and remember to comment on your thoughts on our, on how we reacted to our predictions, but for now guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.